Amen. Shall we lift up our two hands to heaven this morning and give God thanks for his grace upon our lives that saw us all through the last week. Give him praise. Give him adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Would you ask him to speak to you this morning, everybody? Jesus, I want to hear from you today. When the word of Joseph came, everything turned in his favor. Grant me an encounter with your world today that will change my story again. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. It is not what we know that changes us, but what we do with what we know. I wish people know that prayer does not change people. We should know that. It is engaging with revelations that does. Whatever it takes you to do, do it. You don't do it, you won't see a change. My prayer is that this year will mark the beginning of beginnings in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. So praying to assess revelation and praying for grace to engage it is where our change of story lies. Praying for our eyes to be, to be open to behold wondrous things out of his law I'm praying to put those things that we find to work. It's what changes our stories. No one here will suffer stagnation again. <laughs> On this next level's banquet, your story is not just changing today, it will keep changing for life. <laughs> we all know that stagnant water smells. Being at the same point erodes beauty and color. Going around in cycles, no motion, no forward movement can be most frustrating. But your path is ordained as a shining light to shine more and more, not more or less, not more and less. Therefore, from today, your path will keep shining more and more. Amen. Father, honor your word this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Grant utterance today. Amen. And bring conviction in the heart of man. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. It's my year of breaking limits. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And be seated. Like you had 
the 10,000 new churches is concluded today. Amen. God does nothing without extra. So he puts extra on it. It was my privilege to release the last batch last Friday. They took over their various territories and services are starting this morning. Amen. Amen. In the same vein, everyone's breaking limit prophetic package will be delivered like a dream of the night. Yeah. Understanding how praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecies. That's been our teaching series for our Sunday services this month. Understanding how praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecies. Please know that prophecies are not psychological predictions. They are the unveiling of divine purpose. It's not trying to find out by what has happened and what may happen, what should be expected. No. That's why no prophecy can be fulfilled by the hand of man. Because it is the unfolding of divine plan that will require divine hand for delivery. We as a church didn't plan those 10,000 churches. No, it was not in our agenda. He said it and his hand delivered it. Never heard of. We've never seen that. There's no experience to draw from. What is it? Whatever his man, his mouth declares, his hand delivers. That's why prophecies are different from the predictions. It takes the hand of God to deliver the, the plan of God in our lives as individuals and as a church. We had many natural challenges. Where do you get 10,000 men from? And then came lockdown to lock it down. And yet God said, when I speak, Lock down or lock up, I will deliver it if you take heed to it. Therefore, lock down or lock up. Your breaking limit package, as you take heed to the prophetic word and the demands it makes on you, shall be fully delivered. The Holy Ghost was crying, a cry of the Spirit, 2020, a year to watch. Now, among others, he said, a year of supernatural returns from our investment of time, energy, and resources in promoting the kingdom of God. A year of supernatural returns from our investment of time, energy, and resources. Supernatural, out of this world, inexplainable but undeniable. On our investment of time, energy, and resources in promoting the kingdom of God. Now, he said here, every time one is engraced to do what many others may not do, it is because God is taking such individuals 
to where many others may not reach. Amen. Awesome God. Now, this was spoken in January. We are in November. 2020, a year to watch, a year of outbreak of light. Where a little one shall become a thousand, and a small one, a strong nation. And so one of my little daughters could share that his one month salary today can build a rural church. But it wasn't waiting for that to happen. She was fasting 12 days a month to see the church planting agenda established. She's a corporate lady. 12 days a month. Some have not prayed one day. And so you can't tell how many people are doing that now where they are, who have done that this year. To see that 10,000 happen, look, it won't happen without some fellows crying to God. A year of supernatural returns. Now, can I tell you this? A right church costs more than 10 million. It means my little girl receives more than 10 million per month. God never lies. God never lies. A year of full restoration of health and vitality and rescue from all satanic oppressions on our health. So for everybody that is involved, either on the prayer altar or in passionate pursuit after souls or in both, by the communion of today, whatever it means as a question mark on your head, shall be flushed out. Yeah. Whatever it means as a question mark on anybody's health, whether your eyes, your ears, your heart, your blood, you know, your kidney, in the name of the Lord Jesus, whether terminal disease harassing your life and threatening you with death, as you partake of the communion today, because God never lies. The one who delivered the 10,000 churches who deliver anything he says. Now, and that's number one on our list. The planting of 10,000 churches was number one on the prophetic agenda for the year. If that has gone through with no sweat, with no struggle, every other thing that God has spoken in that package is your portion. <laughs> Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? Twenty twenty, a year to watch. There was that cry of the spirit. Many of you were there in that service. Our Isaac order of year, but Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year. So it's not a year you are waiting. It's a year you are sowing. You are sowing, you are investing your time, your energy, your resources in promoting the kingdom of God. That my daughter wrote our personal vision for 2020 that the Lord said, remove that one. Now, write kingdom, your kingdom advancement vision. I'm going to give 35% of my income unto my God. I want to see a right church built. He said, when she finished, Writing it, she was shivering. But she didn't come sweet. She went ahead. Now, listen. By February, she was done with her 10 standing schools. Some are waiting. I must tell you this this week we crossed 53,000 in my outreach tree. Amen. I had quite a lot of things at Covenant University doing, but I was out two times this week and had 1,000 plus for Jesus. Amen. Amen. They said the road here was blocked. I said, let's go to the other road. <laughs> when one road is closed, seven, one, seven we open. There was a tipper that had a problem here. They were burning the tipper. And then he asked me, he said, where are you going to? I said, I've turned to a town. <laughs> Amen. All souls are the same value with God. Amen. Amen. And we returned that day with 528. The tipper would have stopped me. 
but I stopped the tipper. Amen. You see, everybody's heart is what determines where his hand goes. Please wake up. Second Peter 1.19, I'll show you how prophecies come true. But we have We have also a more sure word of prophecy. We are on to ye do well that ye take heed. This more sure prophecy will not deliver without you and I taking heed <laughs> to its dictates and its demands. Amen. As unto a light that shines in darkness, until the day dawn and the day star arises in your heart. <laughs> Ye take heed. Knowing this first that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. Take heed to every prophetic word. First is dictates what it promises to deliver and its demands what you must do for it to happen. Why the earth remaineth? See time and harvest shall not cease. So there is always what to do to see God's word come to pass in our lives. As free as salvation is, if you are not willing to repent, you are not a candidate, you are not a candidate for, for salvation. You are not a candidate for salvation. And that is the freest of all gifts. Yet, until you repent and convert it, you cannot be saved. Kingdom promotion engagement is the core demand for sin the prophetic word for the year 2020 delivered. We have 21 days more to go, so anybody can still jump in. There's always the 11th hour saint. <laughs> you want to see it happen, stop waiting for it. Start working at it. Stop waiting for it. Start working at it. Stop waiting for it. Start working at it. In the name of Jesus, Nobody's life and destiny shall be wasted. Amen. I mean, <laughs> in case you are somehow incapacitated by reason of age or any issue on your leg, but your mouth is not incapacitated, so you can stand before the Lord and pray. There are disease that plants and disease that waters. Everyone shall be rewarded according to his own labor. So if you are not a plant and you are not a water, a water, I don't know what exactly you want to be. You can't go, you can't pray. So what can you do? But you can eat. But you can eat. Enough. Papa, pray for us. Just let's go. It's not enough. You'll be hearing this forever. In this place. <laughs> Amen. Can I tell you this? This church has never been at the same spot two years together. This is what we do. Have you ever heard of 10,000 churches before? That was the package for the year. Did you have 5,000 before? That was the package for last year. Have I ever seen 53,000 people in one year? No. No. You say, where are they? Their name is registered in the, book of, in the book of life. Out of that, all we could get in terms of telephone calls and contact is 38,000. Praise God. And 28,000 have stepped into this church at one time or another. Amen. Man. Jesus loves me. Terribly. Amen. Jesus loves me. Terribly. My enemies know it. 
because you are sons of the prophet, you may not know that, but my enemies know it. <laughs> that when you gather to discuss me, you are tormented. Headache, migraine, stomach trouble, intestinal challenge, <laughs> heart palpitation. <laughs> okay. He's a touch, Lord, man. No, it, that guy is my darling. That guy loves me madly. So I would defend him terribly. Amen. One witch said to me one day many years ago, he said, David, I always David. I won't tell you what I did with her. <laughs> Glory to God. But, you see, life, life. Please wake up. You see, we don't take it to these things, yet we want it to deliver. You have to take it. All those that you have to watch, there is nothing without a demand. Isaac sold in the land, and he became the envy. That my daughter sold the unusual seed. Amen. Of time. Three days of fasting per week. You are not a pastor. You are not a deacon. You are not a deacon. You don't have any title. Eh? You wake up in the morning, Father, let this 10,000 church mandate be delivered. Father, honor your word. Father, ah, uh -uh. why? Are you the only one? Are you a pastor? Well, nobody discusses all things. Every of your secret investment since the year began shall find open dividends. Amen. The last thing anybody would think here, many people, no, no, not everybody, many people, is to build a church. How can I build a church? For what? Our church has money. <laughs> Amen. How can I? It can't even come to his mind. So when will he reach his hand? He can't come. I know many have built those churches in their respective villages and towns. Some have built zona centers. You know why? It was forced in their heart. It was forced in their heart before it could reach their hand. It was forced in their heart before it could reach their hand. Well, by next year, you'll be hearing us talking about, we have built now 5,000 churches. Hallelujah. We have built now 10,000 churches. He said, I won't be part of it. It doesn't matter. Okay, were you part of this 10,000 now? Is it not delivered? Hallelujah. It's in billions, but we'll build. Yes. Mm. I won't beg. We have never begged. We won't send text message to anybody or WhatsApp. As if God leaves anything in your heart. He doesn't put anything in your heart. You put it yourself. <laughs> you put it yourself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody's story is changing. Amen. The prophecy you don't take it to will never deliver in your heart. It will never deliver in your life. You don't take it to it, it will never deliver in your heart. But this year, the 21 days remaining, before we begin to assess Shiloh, God will surprise you. Amen. He will surprise your family. Amen. Well, let me tell you some of our extremist way of doing it. In case you have not done anything since the year began, ask for your leave. And do something about your life. Ask for your leave. Be working on Christmas Day is better. Ask for your leave and deliver your portion. Can I hear your amen? amen. You'll be there. Amen. But until a prophetic word is received, it never gets fulfilled. Until the earth receives your seed, it never bears fruit. As many as received him, he gave power to become the sons of God. And as many as believed on his name, you have to receive it before it can be fulfilled. In your good and honest heart, you are not reading negative meanings to it. You know why the church is driving like this? So that we can be the biggest church in the world. We are not competing with anybody. God knows, the devil knows. We are just in pursuit of God's agenda for the hour. This is being over ambitious. No, we are in pursuit of the ambition of Jesus. 
if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. So, so we are in partnership with him and drawing all men unto himself. It is the ambition of the Father God, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. It's heaven's agenda. He wants all men saved and come to knowledge of the truth. We have no ambition in it. I, I mentioned to you that we had no idea of planting new churches this year. Our plan was to get and back on consolidation of the 5,000 churches planted last year. Then it came in after our budget had been passed. That's what I would say. He, want, he said he would plant for himself. <laughs> 10,000 churches because it's not in our agenda. He will plant for himself. 10,000 churches. And he said, yes, you didn't lie against me. I said so. So he went ahead and planted it. Now watch. I never sowed a seed of one dime as a person to this project. I'm as irrelevant in that agenda. So stop pulling your shoulders. I'm not going to give anything. It doesn't change nothing. <laughs> it doesn't change nothing. I mean, God established multi-millionaire. He didn't need my kobo in it. I even said to them, I said, look, can we send you some intervention fund? They said, no, we don't need. Mm. Ah, he really won't need. <laughs> what kind of life is this? <laughs> and then you are hiding your 400 naira with the, anybody with all this naira. <laughs> I told you the story of someone when I said, put on the highest currency from your pocket on the ground and put your feet on it because from today, you will not suffer financial harassment anymore. You have dominion over finance. So after I said that, I didn't ask them to pick it. <laughs> so service was ending. He said, they may send Osha to come and pick this thing. So he removed the shoe and used his leg <laughs> while I was praying to take his 20 naira and put it on the chair. <laughs> So he, he just misunderstood what I was doing. He thought it was a system to collect offers. So he lost his job, lost his family life, entered into a drinking joint, had no telephone. Our team went in and met him. He told the story by himself. I'm sure he's back to Christ today. What will I do with your 29? <laughs> he used leg. He must be an acrobat. <laughs> when you get home, try it. Don't try it here. <laughs> Put 29 other than and use your leg. <laughs> Amen. So, throughout that prophetic proclamation, it was that money he was thinking about. If they don't ask us to take this money, I will take it. <laughs> 20, naira. 20 naira currency. Amen. Well, you know what? My God will make you to laugh. And it shall be an unending laughter. Your laughter that will never end begins this month. And now, I'm telling you the truth, we have been laughing. Yes. It will be 40 years in May. We have been laughing all the way. Uh, you know, laughter for 40 years cannot be faked. 40 years, long laughter. <laughs> uh, your own laughter is starting this month. Yeah. And will never end forever. Over your family, laughter. Yeah. Over your business, laughter. Yeah. Over your sons and daughters, laughter. Yeah. Over your grandchildren, laughter. Yeah. Over all that pertains to you, laughter. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now, after you have received it, then it is now wisdom to water it. Watering an unplanted field we only bring erosion. 
it never results in multiplication. There must be seed before watering becomes effective. Praise is a watering system. If you have not received the prophetic word, well, I'm not, you can't be fooled. I mean, if anything will happen since January, it ought to have happened. Nothing has happened, and they say I should believe. Believe what? I can't believe anything. <laughs> no. So, what are you watering? No. You are creating erosion. It's eroding even the things we have. So, it is the planted seed that requires watering to grow and bear fruit. Do you believe in the prophetic agenda for the year? Oh, yes. Now, prove that you believe. Show me your faith without your works. And I show you my faith by my works. Everything that God has ordained for the year is tied and anchored on your engagement in promoting his kingdom. Is tied and anchored on my engagement in promoting his kingdom. So if you truly believe, then prove that you do. Prove that you do. Let me draw a line here. We live in a world of seed time and harvest in the kingdom. Don't be deceived. Whatsoever a man sows, that also shall he reap. No, whatsoever a man prays, whatsoever a man sows, that shall he reap. Whatever a man sows, that shall he reap. You sow to the flesh, you reap corruption, that's comparative. But you sow to the spirit, you reap life everlasting. When we sow money, we reap money in return. When we sow to the spirit, we reap life. Can you imagine? The gap between life and money. You reap life everlasting. Life everlasting. Life. So into the spirit, which is all about spiritual stewardship, entitles you and I to reap life everlasting. Life everlasting. You are challenged as if there are no challenges. Life everlasting, joy unspeakable, full of glory. Everything about life answering to you favorably. Amen. There are many people in this church who have never heard their hand like this. Oh, what is this? What is this? For years. That's life. There are many who have never wept behind closed doors since they met Jesus in this place. That's life. Amen. Amen. You need to see the life oozing for me when my wife's hands were challenged. You know. None of you could even greet me. Greet me for what? I'm so full of life. <laughs> Don't you love your wife? Ask God. <laughs> I was jumping all over. That's what they call life. Life. You can imagine people in the prison and singing. They're going to kill you tomorrow. They have already announced it. Life. Somebody told this changing. Yeah. You reap life everlasting. Life everlasting. Life everlasting. Life everlasting. The gap is wide. Now, that means your spiritual stewardship does not only impart on you, but on your children, mm. on your children's children, mm. on eternity. Mm. Hey, Amen. Right. And so, so it's life everlasting. You are praying, Father, let this service tomorrow have your strong presence leading to convictions and conversions of the unsaved. Let your word go forward that will establish the new believer in the faith. Lord, let the prayer session bring down your presence. Let the choir ministrations touch on people's lives. Let everybody coming to that side be protected in and out of church. 
Keep all the motorists safe on the way. Keep all the motorcyclists safe on the way. Keep all those who are walking into trouble by reason for living nearby here. Keep them. Let no one return from that service without a touch from you. Now, you are investing. You are sowing spiritual seed. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then you meet a person and say, you see, I just want to share something with you. As I saw you are new that God has a plan for your life. Is that not the truth? Yes, yes, yes. You want all men to be saved. I met one man, sometime back, his name Jesus. He turned my life around. I wasn't like this before. Before you notice, I mean, why he's looking aghast? Bow your heads. I want to pray for you. Pray this prayer after me. You call him, we are going to church together next Sunday. It's a covenant day of vengeance. Everybody tormenting you, all the demons, principalities and powers, God will deal with them. Eh? You are just there. You are not struggling with it. It's a natural communication. Natural. I've never asked anybody to ask me a question when I minister to them. It's what you need, I'm telling you. It's not that uh, you're interested. You're interested, I know. Aren't you interested in overcoming? You're not interested in victory? And I'm talking to you about victory, and I'm asking you, are you interested? You're interested. I can answer for you. You're interested. Yes, sir. What I'm saying. Yes, sir. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. So the watering becomes meaningful when the planting has preceded it. No planting, water is a waste of time. And like I told you before, the fruit of our leaves that causes what we do with our hand to produce is thanksgiving and praise. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 2, the word say, the man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. You don't sow any seed, you have no return. Hebrews 13, 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks unto his name. So the fruit of our lips is given the sacrifice of praise. Now, I've planted the seed. I'm waiting for the harvest. I celebrate the integrity of your word, Jesus. In God, I will praise his word. In the Lord, I will praise his word. You are celebrating the word you have applied. Can I hear your amen? amen. Banking on the integrity of God. In God, will I praise his word. In the Lord, will I praise his word. So praise becomes meaningful when we have engaged with the world. Praise becomes meaningful when we have engaged with the world. The good news today is this. Everyone who has responded positively to the demands of the prophetic word for the year, it will make you to laugh. Yeah. And everyone who is coming awake this morning, you are coming awake this morning, you are coming awake this morning to this reality, my God, we also make you to laugh. Yeah. You know, we had this householder that went out to hire liberals into his field. He went out in the third hour, in the sixth hour, in the ninth hour, in the eleventh hour. And he paid every one of them the same amount. Praise God. Amen. You can come in in November and secure God's favor to get paid as for those of us who came in January. Can I hear your amen? amen? And you can be there in January and you have not engaged up to now and you won't engage until when we close. It won't make a difference. It won't make a difference. It won't make a difference. One of our men in church and his wife took their leave, 2016, to go on outreach. So they asked him in his office, which country are you going for this vacation? I said, no, 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 we're on the field. On the field. So in the morning, husband and wife would dress as they are going to work to park in a place where they are witnessing. 
Big bang. Favor landed from heaven. You see, God is not a usurper. God is a rewarder. Yes. God is a rewarder. God is not a usurper. He's not looking for who to take advantage of. God is a rewarder. Amen. Amen. That testimony blew me up. You took annually to go on outreach. Someone is looking for a job, he's not going on outreach. Someone has a celebrated job, took leave. This thing works. This thing works. And it will deliver in your life. Amen. This thing works and it will deliver in your life. It's not about luck. It's about your standing with God. There is nothing called luck in the kingdom. It is walking the light that makes a difference between a winning believer and a losing one. Walking in the light. Thank you, Jesus. Walking in the light. Somebody's story is changing. Somebody's story is changing. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. Now, this is what he said. End up revival scripture in Habakkuk chapter 3. He said, well, although the fig tree shall not blossom, you have labored and you don't seem to have seen anything that might not be fruit in the olives. The fruit of the olives may fail and there may not be hearts in the store. You just keep rejoicing. This is the incorruptible seed. It can't die. Keep rejoicing the Lord. Then God will step in suddenly and make your feet like hands feet and get you up upon your high places. God will step in suddenly and make your feet and my feet like hands feet and get you up upon your high places. Amen. Well, the good news is you're on your way to your high places. Amen. The same way Joseph kept rejoicing in spite of all the challenges, the horrendous challenges over his life and find his way to the throne as you keep rejoicing in your God that cannot fail in his word that is immutable, he will get you up upon your high places. Amen. Please allow the mockers to mock you face where you are going. Face where you are going. Nobody's ever made until as far as been mocked. Face where you are going. The mockers will soon be silenced. Face where you are going and the mockers will soon be silent. Face where you are going and God will soon silence your mockers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, today's uh, next level's banquet. God is committed to our continuous progress. Say with me, God is committed to my continuous progress. He said, you have gone around that mountain long enough. I'm bothered. Turn, my friend. Take steps forward. Can't be at the same spot for life. By redemption, we have been empowered for a life of continuous progress. The path of the justified, the redeemed of the Lord, is as a shining light that's ordained to shine more and more and more unto the perfect day. But we must possess the next level's mentality to realize this. As far as your eyes can see, Unto you will I give it. Talking about the eyes of your mind. For as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. When the Lord showed me Proverbs 4 verse 18, I said, I am not prepared for a better last year all the days of my life. Because the path of the justified is ordained to be as a shining light that shines more and more and more unto the perfect day. Five keys to experiencing continuous change of levels. We must continue to walk in line with the word of God. Walking in the light of scriptures. 
as we behold him as in a glass, we are changed from glory to glory. Now, it's not just the revelation, but how much of it we apply ourselves to. He said, the kingdom of God, it's like, um, now, James chapter 1, verse 22 to 25. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. But if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer, it's like unto a man beholding himself in a natural, his natural face in a mirror. For he beholded himself and went his way and straightway forget what manner of man he was. But whosoever looking to the perfect law of liberty, the word of God, and continue therein, he not being a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, that man shall be blessed in his deed. So it's not just 2 Corinthians 3, 18 that works. It must be slashed <laughs> with James 1, 22-25. It's all mirror, mirror, mirror in a glass, in a glass, in a glass. Praise God. Praise God. For instance, we have caught a light on Matthew 6, 33. Go engage with it practically. And it will keep changing your level. As you keep changing your level of engagement. Can I hear your amen? The fortune of our ministry experienced a turnaround by a word that came September 4, 1987 on corporate tithing. Corporate tithing. It, it changed the financial fortune of our ministry forever. We are still swimming in it today. It's what we do with what he shows us that changes our levels. For instance, they go from strength to strength. Every one of them is dying up here before God. So no matter your level of engagement in life, you are MDCEO. You don't go to church. You'll be going from weakness to weakness until you go into courtism. There is no message. I'm going to be watching online. Praise God. Woe unto him that is alone. Because when he falls, there will be no one day and next to pick him up. Online can't pick you up. Praise God. Therefore, forsake not the assembly together one another, as some of you do, much more so as you see the day approaching. There is no substitute for fellowshipping if you must keep going from strength to strength. You will sleep a bit. I think the world will soon start. By the time you wake up, the world has finished. <laughs> you may be preparing tea and egg to have a small breakfast in the course of the service. And that's how powerful online worship can be. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the world that will change your life has just gone while you are preparing the tea. So you continue till next year. Don't be deceived. You don't change the questions on an exam paper. You don't adjust it to suit you. You will so fail that they will send DSS to go and look for you. <laughs> Amen. Man, I'm telling you the truth. I've had people that work with me before who don't go to church today. Far away into a world of struggles. This thing works. You want to go from strength to strength, stay addicted to church and fellowship. Stay addicted to church and fellowship. I met Jesus over 51 years ago. I've not been able to count seven times in my life I was not in church. Seven. We had a forum yesterday and some of us we saw first time in 48 years. And one of them was giving a testimony. He said, you know, when we were in school and we would be waiting for breakfast. If it comes, we won't go. 
But you always go without breakfast to be in Sunday school and follow up through the service. But we, we will wait until we eat. Whether we miss service or not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Amen. It was a whole time of fun <laughs> yesterday. Praise God. A whole time of fun. I can't remember. But for me to be waiting because of food, I mean, nah, nah. <laughs> I was 16. No. But all this pulling your shoulder as if you are the author of God, I mean, you, are, you are the uncle of God, it will help you. <laughs> it will help you. So you don't come to church, you can be found anywhere else tomorrow. I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised. You can be in Oboni tomorrow. I won't be surprised. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them is. Even Jesus, he will carry three people when he's going to pray private prayer. You wait here. I'm feeling the heat of your presence. One cannot be warm alone. If two lie together, they have heat. Well, how can one be warm alone? You will start praying in tongues and your tongue will start drying up. Because you have not been to the fireplace for a long time. Glory to God. Amen. But a number of us will speak in tongues communicating and being able to interpret what you are talking about because you, you are just around the fireplace all the time. Somebody's story is changing. If that is you, let me hear your loudness, amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. Number two, we must continue to engage with every divine instruction as may be handed down from time to time, whether in our private devotions or from fellowships. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 11 to 13. You want to change level? I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in the right path. Now, when thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Now, take fast hold of instructions. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. If you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God and observe to do all his commandments, which I commanded this day, that the Lord your God will keep changing your level <coughs> until you are set above all nations of the earth. It is instructions that change our positions. It is his instructions that change our position. Get out of town, come into this forest, then change your position. Get out now to African nations that change our position. Go now. I'm planting 5,000 churches this year. That changed our position. Now, I'm planting 10,000 churches. Okay, sir. Only you can say that. So, we go ahead. Instructions. Instructions. They are the highways to our change of position. And so, people don't, people hate instructions. Sir. No, I have my life to live. Nobody can push me. I have my life to live. You can't be commanding me. I have my views. Your views can't change your position. My views can't change my position. Only its instructions empower us for a change of position. You'll never be at the same spot anymore. Yeah. Those who hate instructions hate their own change of position. You will not despise instructions. Yeah. Number three, we must continue to serve God and the interest of his kingdom as a lifestyle. Occupy it till I come is the command of Luke 19, verse 13. And he gave a pan each to each of them. And one said, you gave me one pound, I've made 10 more. Well done. Good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over very few, very little. Have thou authority over Ten cities. Amen. Serving the interest of the master changes believers' levels. 
serving the interests of the master fruitfully and faithfully changes our level. Another one came and said, I've made five more. Have thou authority over five cities. Have thou authority over five cities. When serving God becomes your way of life, change of level becomes your natural experience. Change of levels becomes your natural experience. Change of levels becomes your natural experience. When serving God becomes your genuine lifestyle, your levels keep changing. We must continue, number four, to trust in the Lord to confirm his word. Even though he slay me, I will yet trust him. It may look like it's not working. That won't put me off. I know him whom I have believed. I will trust him till the last day of my life. Praise God. For I know him whom I believed, and I'm persuaded that he will keep that which I've committed to him. What I'm doing is not waste of time. I'm investing into my present, investing into my posterity, and investing into eternity. Nonsense. Look at them. They will just finish you. They will just use you to finish. Carry on. Praise God. Somebody's story is changing. I know him. Quiet. I know him. And you know what happened? The Lord turned again the captivity of Job. And he had twice as much as he had before. He rose to remain the greatest of all men in the East. God never lies. Another 140 years more for him to enjoy the booties of his triumph. Keep trusting God. It's a, it's a story changer. It will keep changing your stories. Finally, we must continue to celebrate the faithfulness of God no matter what. We must keep celebrating the faithfulness of God no matter what. You must never be found murmuring or you mess up your harvest. You must not be found complaining or you complicate your issues. They that murmured in the wilderness were destroyed of the destroyer. First Corinthians 10.10 10. The people murmured and the Lord had it. <laughs> The people complain. It displeased the Lord because the Lord had it. What do I do then? If you have sown your seed, keep celebrating the faithfulness of God and it will bring his word to pass in your life. Can I hear your amen? Yes. And that's what you are doing just this morning in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to dance in your harvest. It's your Isaac order of year. I'd like you to dance in your harvest. It's your Joseph order of year. I'd like you to know that the incorruptible seed will never be destroyed in the ground. And so your harvest is sure. Lift up your right hand, everybody, and give God thanks. Give him thanks. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. We have people here this morning that will be out there to surrender their life to Christ and be listed among the living. For only the living is qualified to praise him. The dead cannot praise him. The living, the living, he shall praise thee as I do this day. Whosoever has the Son of God has life. Whosoever has not the Son of God has not life. You are here this morning. You want to join this praising army and step into a new phase of your life. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet very quickly. And we'll be praying for you right there. You want to surrender your life to Jesus this morning and be listed among the living. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You want to surrender your life to Jesus this morning and be listed among the living. Please stand to your feet. Church, give the Lord a big hand for these precious people.
Also, there are people here that need to rededicate their life to Christ, reconnect back to their Heavenly Father. Maybe you are once there, but at the point that was a disconnect between you and your Father in Heaven. You want to rededicate your life back to God this morning. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet and I'll pray with you at the same time. God bless you. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus this morning, please stand to your feet. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus this morning, please stand to your feet. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus this morning, please stand to your feet. It's your turn for a change of story. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Please bow your heads in prayers and lift up your right hand to heaven. Lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. Forgive me all my sins and wash me with your blood. I believe that you died for me. On the third day you rose again, that I may be justified. Right now, I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm restored back to the faith. I'm now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. By your help, I will serve you all the days of my life. And I believe, having lived a triumphant life on this earth, I shall make heaven at the end of my journey. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me eternal life today. Amen. Now, lift up your hands and I pray. Father, I pray over these precious souls. Your grace has brought them into your kingdom. Let the same grace preserve them. I cover each of you with the blood of Jesus. Remain covered till the end of time. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Congratulations. 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 Amen. Be reminded of our Believer Foundation class that holds every Monday. You go for only two Mondays, tomorrow and the following Monday, and it's 6 to 7.30 a.m. as you had in the announcement. We will get in touch with you as you let us have your details. We will text you the one that's nearest to where you live. We have them in over 700 places. And you can be in the one that's closest to where you live. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Ever faithful, ever sure. Stand to your feet. How many believe that God cannot lie? Now there are three strong words about the integrity of God. It's a God that cannot lie. That means he has no capacity for lying. Titus chapter 1 and verse 2. And then Hebrews 6, 18, it is impossible for God to lie. Just like it's impossible for a man to be pregnant with a child. It's impossible for God to lie. And God is not a man that he should lie. No, the son of man that should repent. As he's spoken, I will not do it. Those three scriptures will help you Embrace the integrity of God and his word. Lift up your two hands and thank God for the full-scale delivery of your own breaking limit prophetic package for the year. This is the 11th hour. But God never lies. God cannot lie. God never lies. Because he cannot lie. It's important for him to lie. God is not a man. He stands by whatever he says and forever. Let the steward stay their positions right now.